Welcome you all to Bias Course. This is your educator Gayatri. In today's session, we are going to learn about the difference between ectotherms and endotherms. So please do watch the video till the end to get a clear concept about ectotherms and endotherms. You can expect a direct question from this topic in your examination. So don't miss this topic. Ectotherms are also called as cold-blooded animals and homothermic animals. Whereas endotherms, they are known as warm-blooded animals or homothermic animals. Why? Some animals are known as cold-blooded animals, whereas other animals are known as warm-blooded animals. Ectotherms are called as cold-blooded animal because their body temperature changes with environmental temperature, right? So when the environmental temperature changes, their body temperature changes. In short. They are not able to adjust their body temperature. Okay. Whereas warm-blooded animals or endotherms, they generate heat. Okay. Internally, they generate heat to maintain body temperature. Right. So, like their body temperature always remain constant. Okay. Like a body temperature is not changing with the change in the environmental temperature. So, what we can say? We can say that. The ectotherms, they depend on the external heat source, okay? They depend on the external heat source. Depending on the temperature of the environment, their body temperature is continuously changes time to time. Means in hot season, they are hot and in the cold environment, they are cold, right? But homeotherms or warm-blooded animals or endotherms, the body temperatures are independent of environmental temperature. Okay, so clear about the ectotherms and endotherms in simple. Ectotherms are cold-blooded animals because their body temperature changes with changing in the environmental temperature. Whereas warm-blooded animals, they maintain their body temperature constant. Okay. Another point is that ectotherm animals, they have low assimilation efficiency. Whereas endotherm animals, they their assimilation efficiency is higher okay now comes to the production efficiency production efficiency is higher in ectotherms whereas it is lower in endotherms so now maybe you all are wondering about what is assimilation efficiency what is production efficiency so i do have a video on ecological efficiency i will give that link in the description box down below so now what are the examples of ectotherms, ectothermic animals? Ectothermic animals examples are amphibians, reptiles and fishes. Okay. Whereas birds and mammals are warm-blooded animals. Right. And this difference is also reflected in their structure of heart. How structurally the heart is different in ectotherms and endotherms. Let me know in comment section down below. Bye bye. See you in my next video. Till then keep learning.